Filipino people are very funny. Even if they have uh, problems, they will not show it. They are secret uh, people. They just laugh with their own uh, problems. So I am Peter Sinawi from Sagada, Mogi Province. 40 years old. And I am a family man. I have five kids. <laughs> I'm a tour guide here in Zagara. Uh, we do eco tour, uh, river tracing, and mountain tours. Important thing is that uh, I will give the needs of my family. I will protect them. Maybe I'm, I'm struggling in somewhat. How could I uh, give the needs of my uh, family? Let's take for example, the, how could I give a shelter for my family, food of my family? That's my struggle. So I work hard. <laughs> Being in the city is somewhat good because there are lots of works there in the city. But I guess I prefer to be in the province. At least here in the province we can uh, breathe fresh air. We are free from disturbance. And it's more peaceful here in the province. And we can do gardening, farming. Filipinos are somewhat funny because uh, just like what I've said, they laugh with their own uh, whatever problems they are in. And uh, when you say a Filipino, when there's something stumbled down, they just laugh also. Somewhat to them it's not serious even if it's a big problem. They are somewhat hardworking because any work that you can give to them, they can uh, do it. And uh, sensitive because uh, we are very sensitive to the needs of uh, the people. When there are some members of the community who will die, we can go and share also our happiness with them. I'm Ricardo Alos uh, from the Twin Machine Works. I'm 50 years old.
I'm working as a machinist, doing jobs from uh, mining firms. Uh, any kind of engineering works, we are doing such uh, through with the machining of uh, heads, blocks of uh, motor engines. As usual, Filipinos are known for their hospitality. Yeah? We eat uh, Filipino foods like vegetables, adobo, which is the and sometimes lechon if there is, and fish. Makes me happy because uh, I'm already 50 years and still working. Mostly Filipino people are poor. They strive to work and work even how poor they are. They are very uh, industrious. You know, Filipinos are. They are really industrious. Uh, you work this because you need money for your family. Well, my family is my strength in life, in working. Life is just a, you know, a journey to sacrifices. That's life for me. You work hard, you made some disturbances in life, strive and strive and strive. My name is uh, Marvin Villalon. I'm 31 years old and I'm living here in Baguio. Yeah, I grew up here in Baguio. My profession is I'm a welder. I do a lot of uh, stuff like the stuff of uh, mining corporation, stuff like that. I've been working like two years now. Sounds crazy, but I'm proud to be Filipino. But if I can change, yes. <laughs> Yeah, but I'm proud to be Filipino, even if it's hard. <laughs> because, you know, it's hard to, to live like you hardly cannot find your own food if you don't work, stuff like that. Drinking in a bar, go home, get drunk. And wake up, wake up early in the morning taking coffee. That's only my little son. He's giving me strength every day. He's the only thing God gave it to me. And very the best, greatest. Okay. <laughs> Pasta Nacho Pombo
Carolinian Middle Sur eh, aus Oberhausen, aus Deutschland. Ich war äh, 45 Jahre Krankenschwester in einem Krankenhaus in Mülheim an der Ruhr, evangelisches Krankenhaus. Und wie gesagt, ich habe da gearbeitet bis 2013. 1970, 74 habe ich einen deutschen Mann geheiratet und hat eine Familie wurde gegründet mit zwei Kindern. Das Leben in Philippinen ist ja einfaches Leben und glücklich. Aber in Deutschland gut, wenn ich bin auch da glücklich, weil ich meine Kinder da, ich habe da auch schon einiges geschafft. Wir haben jetzt ein eigenes Haus, einige Sachen gekauft, dort ist mein fleißiges Arbeit dort. Ich bin stolz, Filipino zu sein. Sehr stolz. Für mich ist sowieso Nummer eins Hilfbereitschaft zu jedem. Auch so bei mir in Deutschland. Ich helfe gerne die Filipinos, die krank sind, weil ich bin Krankenschwester. Ich helfe immer noch, wenn ich höre die Filipinos, die krank sind. Auch hier in Philippinen habe ich immer die Besuch. Ich bin sehr religiös. Also Nummer eins, ich lese viel Bibel und höre auch gerne im Fernsehen diese Gottes Wort. Ne? Das macht mich stark. So wie meine Eltern uns immer gelernt hat, immer beten, beten. Ne? Und bis jetzt meine Gebete, die immer gehört vom Gott. Oder wie gesagt, wirklich, das ist mein Erlebnis. Ich habe immer gebetet, ich gehe zwar nichts jeden Sonntag in die Kirche, aber ich weiß, das Wort ist überall. Und das sage ich auch immer meine Kinder, immer beten, immer beten, Gott ist da. Hi! Hey, you! Yes, beautiful 
Hello, I'm Otello Lunusa. I live in CDO and my age is uh, 34. And my source of income is this one, taxi driver. Uh, maybe I'm driving a taxi for almost 10 years. I'm proud to be a Filipino. So many because Filipino has so many talent and very thankful for the God helping people to one another and respect one another. My English is uh, not really good. I ride a, a passenger. I know that he's drunk and he sleep. And I realize that maybe she blow <laughs> and she get in the home and he go and pay me the bills. What I see in my chairs is so many <laughs> So I I said him that uh, sir sorry because you're uh, very dirty my taxi is uh, <laughs> so you pay me and I go to car wash because this time is no open 24 hours car wash so you give me some money to clean this one so he gave me 500 so I go in a car wash and clean uh, all inside of the taxi in the chairs I make it strong for my family and I believe in God that's I give strong uh, person and also my family see you soon Kudak dek kudak 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 Oh bahin ni muning tubig Oh ya uniti gi Dali bahin ni tagai dek siana My full name 
name is Romeo Kaalim Jr. Uh, I live at the Kugman, Cagayan de Oro City, Philippines, and I'm working here at the C uh, control, uh, city control dam site. My job here is, I'm just an admin staff here, tending communication letters, filing of clips of personal here when they got absent. Scavenger people, they are a very low class of people because they are living at the dam site and the source of their income is only the waste or the recyclables that they get at the dam site. Education is not priority for them. To help them, we need to educate them. For them, the government should offer free educational. <laughs> Pinoy. I'm proud to be a Filipino because a uh, Filipino is warm and friendly people. What? Filipino are flexible. They can adjust any citizen. They can encounter with. I wish that this dump site will be closed because this dump site is not healthy anymore for the surroundings, for the people nearby. Jerry Hadman, edad 41, aku putih tu, aku terbau menanagat, aku yuk aku sa kami kin, province, kami kin aku gustur ini kembali, ma mingau, ma peaceful gayo ang isla sa kami kin, walai gubut. Akong pamilya, upan sa pagpangalagad sa Gino, para namang trabaho sa matagad logikan sa lunis, mangita-mangita sa itong pangabuhi para sa akong pamilya. Pagka sa Domingo, adlaw na sana sa Gino, kami sa Timplo sa Diyos, magilain. Kaya kining Pagpanagat na ito, lumalabay mo lang ito. Pagkwaon na nga itong kinabuhi sa ginoo. Kwa na tayo mahimo. Gamay pa ko. Pagpanagat na ito. Mga edad pa ko. Sibin. 
Ikaduan na ako pagkahilo, nahilo ko sa tambuli. Pagka sunod na hagbong ko sa mangga. Mga 20 anyos na tali. I am Inocentis Balbutin Ni akong tagnay Richard Wala na ilas ako kay Richard Nagpuyo ko sa Barangay Bunbun Yung suso sa gay Kami din sa Bins 45 years farmers Pagsukod ako pagtabaho sa rice 20 years na Sa 16 pagkuhantod ko na minyo ko sa Sa akong kabahin Mas malingaw gikos sa kung trabaho ka ni Bakti dahil sa mga trabaho ko sa kanin. Pahuway pahuway na. Himudlay na sa lingaw na kay siya, siya pagka Pilipino. Ako lahi ko. Gusto na ako na. Pilminti gina ko gusto na. Na pilminti sumaka na ako. Nga kuwan dili kay maghuhat ko, mahurot to. Isa pa kumuliho. Una nga ako pamilya. Mamang gina pinakauna. Nung tanan sa akong pagpanarbaho. Mamang gina ako una gina nakapasaya sa akong pag, panginabuhi. Ah, na kinilang gina maning kamot ko. Maning kamot ko sa pagtabaho. Ako gamot. Usulit ko sa kutinod. Wala gigo ko. Mamit ako na ning kamot ko na ako mga bata ka ron. Ipatapos gina ko sila maka... Kamot gina sila og taas nga kahibalo. Kaya ako good. Klaro na story ako. Wala gigo maka graduate o elementary. Ang naka... Kuhan sa ako. Nakapasaya sa ako sa akong pag... Kadasig. Pagkadasig sa akong pagpakinabuhit. Pinagay sa akong kabata ka na akong ipa. Tuon. Sa ako. Sa akong kabahin. Di rin ako mga nandoy na may improve pa ko. Hi, good afternoon. I'm Meloy. <laughs> I'm 29 years old. This is my wife, Jocelyn, 27 years old. Uh, I'm working like a driver, uh, Haval Haval, a single motor. Like that. Hi, I'm Jocelyn Olair Galagatan. I'm 27 years old. And this is my husband, <laughs> Romero Galagatan. And I have no work. I'm staying here in housewife. We have uh, three kids. Uh, Three boys. Longer by tour guide is 10 years. And I always drive a balaba and yes, we have to tour guide. We have to do it because safety uh, give uh, to the tourist part of the community. Uh, I'm proud to be a Filipino because uh, Filipino is good, helpful and French friendly. I also a loving person. What's yours? This is a good. Okay, it's the same like I told you already. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> Say a word, botong. Botong. The head. Yeah, like that. It makes me happy. Uh, my family, my wife, Jocely. I really love her. Okay, you know? <laughs> and also my three kids. And then, and then other friends in the surrounding and in my neighborhood. The coconut is very hot. <laughs> it's cold. The most difficult uh, encounter of my life is special is the uh, financial. Always angry. There's uh, something you buy, you cannot buy because you have no financial or no money. We keep strong because we have strong family and God was always here for us to guide us and to help us.
For Duts! This is for Duts! I miss these guys. I'm gonna go back to this. A year ago. A year ago. A year ago. So there's the song again. Yeah, so I'm Kyle Jennerman, or in the Philippines, Kulas. It's my Filipino nickname. I'm 27 years old, Kikin from Canada. I'm from so in Visaya, I live in Kagiandiro, Mindanao. Been in the Philippines on and off for two years. I started that last February, I think it was February 21st of 2014. That's when I started the Becoming Filipino journey, but I first came to the Philippines January 2013. And I really noticed right away, just, just you know, I'd, the way my friends would just throw happiness at me, the way people in the streets would just throw happiness at me. It was, it was so overwhelming that when I went back to Hong Kong, where I used to work, I just couldn't stop thinking about it. I was like, what is this culture? How can people just, you know, be so open to sharing happiness and throwing happiness to others? Like, it was really overwhelming so that's what brought me back ah okay there's four reasons why i do becoming filipino so first and foremost since i was 18 all i've wanted to do is inspire people to be happy and enjoy their lives and i genuinely realized over the course of a year coming and going from the philippines that if i introduce people to the simple beautiful the simple things about filipino culture that inspired my life it would have that effect on their lives second reason I looked at a lot of Filipinos and I'm really, really close. Like I have a lot of Barcada, I worked with OFWs, I live with Filipino families, and they're really proud to be Filipino. But then at the same time, they, they kind of get overwhelmed sometimes with these negative things that they, you know, they have to deal with that I don't have to deal with, like corruption or lack of opportunity. Or, and they kind of would forget sometimes about the simple, beautiful things about their culture. So by asking Filipinos to tell me things that make them happy or things that inspire them or things that they enjoy about their culture, and then me going and doing those things. Uh, that was the second thing to hopefully try and inspire Filipinos to just remind themselves, you know, the simple, awesome things I feel could inspire other people's lives like they inspired mine. So things like, I'll give you an example, look at fiestas. In the Philippines, you just, people just give and give and give and give and give. What do they want in return? Happiness. They literally open up their houses to people they've never met and just give and give and give for what? Happiness. Third reason why I do what I do is a lot of people come to the Philippines for the wrong reasons, with the wrong intentions. So they come here, you know, just uh, you know, just to have sex and just to get drunk. They come here and they take advantage of Filipinos. They don't really care about the culture. They just do what they want because they have money. Or they come here just, you know, to take advantage of business. I genuinely believe, you know, I just want to show people if you come here with the right intentions, like just to learn and be happy and appreciate the culture, that you'll usually have an amazing experience. Final reason is I live in Mindanao. If you hear the word Mindanao, most people would say, oh, Abu Sayyaf, oh, terrorism, oh, dangerous, oh, bombings, you should never go there. I don't really understand those uh, perceptions because I've lived here, you know, for a year and a half. I've driven a scooter 7,500 kilometers all over Mindanao, a majority of the time alone. And where do I get met with? Happiness, kindness, friendly, cool people. Um, I'm just trying to fight back at those perceptions that offend me because I live here, this is my home. Everywhere I go when I travel or go around the country, you know, I see people living in what would be stereotyped as, you know, poverty or in, in very, well, a lot of people from North American backgrounds or well-off backgrounds are looking, oh, these people, like, they don't have much, like, they're living in poverty, that must be so difficult. But yet, they're so happy, and yet, you know, they have the simple things like family or they have, you know, uh, the simple foods that they love or, you know, they have a good atmosphere around them of, like, neighbors and friends and, and I realized, are they in poverty? No, they're actually, they're actually just happy and then living life. And for me, it's, it's taken away all my fear, this culture. Like people ask me, Kulas, how could you do this? How could you just like get up and go? And what about your financial future? Well, I don't really have any fear anymore of like having to deal with touch of tough situations in my life because Filipinos, the majority of them, deal with incredibly tough situations. About a month ago, I was on this island called Balut Island. It's like the southeastern tip of Mindanao. You're three hours away from Indonesia. 
on this island there's Bila'an, there's Manobo, there's Christians, there's Muslims, there's Indonesians, there's Sangyo. You know, there's literally seven or eight different, you know, ethnic groups or, or different groups of people who come from different backgrounds or have different religions. And the whole time everybody's happy and everybody respects each other. And for me it stands out because, you know, you read the news anywhere you are in the world. There's like people hating people here. These people don't like these people. You know, there's Muslims here that don't like Christians or Christians don't like Muslims or this is happening or everyone's being mean and angry at each other. And it's just a good example of what we should be like. Why can't people just respect each other, you know? So that was a big moment for me.
My name is Omar Joseph from Boulevard. I came from Taguig City. Kaya this is a city of mountain of garbage. There's so many junk. There's so many kids that cannot study because of poverty. Experience here so many things that I cannot describe it. Magkano kasi dito ang mabibili eh. sa doon sa ano sa garaw na namin. Bakit po? Hindi po ano ko paano mo bibili dito eh. Kasi dito lagi ako naglalako araw-araw. Doon hindi ako naglalako. Marami kasi nagdami ako oh. pinakawal. Yung isa, yung pinaka ano na lang. Yung pinaka ano yun. Nawala kasi yung tatay ko. Paano po kayo na natiling matatag? Ano ba kayo? Ano ba kayo? Sandy de Vera from Tondo, Manila. Ah, tawag. Sipin mo naman. Mamuhay namin. Ito, ganito lang. Ano, nagpipili lang. Para may pangkain. Sa araw-araw, ganyan. Sa araw-araw, ganun pa rin. Tapos, pag walang ano, nasa bahay lang. Nanonood ng TV, ganyan. Ano, minsan ang kita, ano, yung pinakamatas na yan, 300. So, eh, oo, oh, sa isang araw. Pero hindi naman ano, madalas na ano. Gano'n nang kita minsan, ano, isang daan ng pinakamababa. Oo, oh, isang daan, may git. Ang pinakamababa. Pero minsan wala din. Ano yan, dito lang ka. <laughs> ano, nananahimik yan. Lagi, nakaupo na. Tapos yung mga, ano, syempre, yung mga na, nag-ano, nangunguha ng mga basura. 
ano, uh, ayun, ma masipag naman kayo pa. Anong klase? Anong mawawala? Um, Siyempre, minsan hindi para parehas. Minsan, uh, parang lit lit malilito sila sa ano nila. Yung Siyempre, so, buhay, di ba? Kanya-kanya yan. Kasi hindi naman pare-parehas yung ano. Yung mga ugali, hindi pare-parehas yung iba iba din. Tapos siyempre, iba, yung iba pala kaplakad, yung iba, yun, 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 nasa bahay lang. Na ano yung problema sa rin ng pula. <laughs> ganyan. Prado kahit na mahirap lang ako, ganyan. Nakakaano pa naman sa iyong tag doon? Nagsusumigap. Oo, nagsusumigap. Gusto ko rin na ano, maano yung kahit na paano may pangarap pa rin. Para sa siya, pa picture ko. Oo, kahit na ganyan. <laughs> kahit na saktong ano lang. Masaya pa rin. Sakto lang. Oo, oh, sakto lang. Okay. Pero pag misa sobra-sobra, siyempre, naano rin namin yung ano namin. Gusto namin, nagbibili namin. Ano yung nagpapatutag sa'yo ate para mabuhay? Siyempre ang pamilya. Oo, oh, mas mahalaga pa rin ang pamilya. Hmm, diba? Sila yung nagpapatutag sa'yo. Tsaka sila yung nagpapalakas na.